Yes. Okay. I, I, I just I just want to want to know you know how uh, how do you understand the word PR? Um, because in this country, in Burmese, when you speak in Burmese, um, the Buddhists would use the word PR. The Christian would use the same one, the same word. The uh, Muslim, the Hindu, they would use the same word. Uh, but I, I just want to get you know some some something you know uh, who, who understand you know I mean how do you understand the word here when when you hear the word here yeah, what do you understand? Uh, it has power. It has power. Okay. You associate the word here with magical power. Okay. Uh, any other? Uh, what about what about you? To pray. Okay. Buddha. Okay. You mean Paya means Buddha. You mean okay. Somebody to pray to. Uh, you you associate with uh, Paya with uh, magical power. Okay. Magical power. Uh, the younger one. Okay. How do you understand when you hear the word Paya when mommy says the word Paya or grandma says the word Paya? How do you understand it? Like God, okay, 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 good, good, okay. Now, now, another definition. Any? What about you to me? How, how, do, how do you understand it? The enlightened one. Okay, this is the enlightened one. Uh, so have you got anything to add to it? Is someone you have belief and have faith in? Someone you have a belief and faith in. Okay. So now you're talking about faith. Okay, uh, somebody talks about God, so, so that's, that's also about faith. The reason I start with this word Paya is that because we misuse it. Um, in the Buddhist context, the word Paya means something, and in non Buddhist religious context, it means a totally different thing. In the, uh, the Buddhist religion, the word pay, uh, somebody paya, okay, it's, um, it's not creator. It's not God. The word God, you know, if you have ever read Bible and Quran, it means somebody who created the world, who has an overall power over your life, who designed your life. Like that. If anything, okay, good or bad happen to you in your life, that's the will of God. That's the will of God. So somebody who has um, a power over you, like that. But in Buddhism, we don't believe in that. We don't believe in the creation. We don't believe in created God. We believe that. We are responsible for ourselves. If you want to get um, uh, all the, you have to work hard. You are responsible for your own grades. Um, if you do good, <laughs> if you are kind to people, then people will uh, respond in kind. But if you are nasty towards them, if you are nasty to a dog, a cat, or a human being, that will be reflected on you from other people's behavior. So we believe the, um, if I use the word, a big word, supremacy, will you understand it? Okay, supremacy means top. We believe, okay, human beings are top. There's no one above human being. Do you think you are part of human being? I think you are. Okay, so you can do everything, just like the boys, the girls can also do it. Uh, she used the word enlightened, that means somebody who is enlightened, that person never gets angry, never gets frightened. Doesn't matter what other people do, meaning the person is very strong emotionally inside. 
that kind of person. No more negative reaction, no more um, automatic reaction in their, in their mind. So that person is what we call enlightened person. Enlightened person. So uh, be careful when we use the word Paya. Um, when the, the Christian friends, the Muslim friends, when they use the word Paya, they mean somebody who they believe has created God and somebody who resides somewhere you can't see okay, in heaven. But in our case, what we call Paya Paya, somebody is called Buddha. Is a Buddha. That's the proper word. Bodha Nyaswapya. If you see in Burmese, it's better to, to add the word Bodha. Bodha Nyaswapya. Uh, you use the word Nyaswapya. It's bad, it's, it's, um, it's unambiguous if you use the word Buddha also. The Buddha. Bodha Nyaswapya. Prince Siddhartha, the story of Buddha. We don't use the word God. And if you, the, the Christian, okay, the uh, holy book is called Bible. Uh, this is one of our books. You know, we have about maybe our holy scripture is about um, uh, 30 times bigger than the Bible because uh, Jesus lived only three years. He taught only three years, and the Buddha taught for 45 years, be simply because of that. Have you ever heard of the word DIY? Anyone has heard of the word DIY? Eh? No? Okay. DIY. In England, there's a big store called DIY. DIY means do it yourself. Do it yourself. You buy something from the store, you have to assemble yourself. You can buy a chair, you can buy a bookshelf, you can buy uh, many things, many uh, different types of machines. But you have to assemble yourself, you have to operate it yourself. That's called DIY store. Buddhism is like a DIY store. Meaning you have to rely on yourself. You have to rely on yourself. Okay? DIY. If we do something good, then we are going to receive the results of that, the good reward. But if we do something bad, there will be consequences. That's, that's what we call Gandhiya. Usually, when you see in Burmese, there is misunderstanding about, about Gandhiya. People think, uh, you get something good, maybe a, um, a jackpot or winning a lottery without doing anything. Uh, they would say that can count. That means you know you have a very good can, good karma. But the Buddha says karma is uh, your intention. Your intention. If you have good intention towards your friend, that means you know you are doing good karma. That's, that's the we have we, we have this in our hand we have this in our hand 